Welcome back to John's Films. No, that's not clickbait. Seriously, Fusion Free in version 16.2 is faster than Studio. So let me show you the data so you actually believe me, and then let's go look at some reasons I think that that's the case. The first machine I tested was my Mini-Me machine. It's a Ryzen 2700X with a GTX 1070 32GB of G-Skill 3000MHz RAM and a 1TB SSD. This is where I got the first indication something was up. If you look here as the charts pull out, Studio 16.2, I ran a couple runs up at the top. I actually ran much more than this, but I just grabbed some of the averages. So 16.2, I got a 1092. 16.2 Studio, I got an 1107. Free, I got a 1212 and a 1267. Now, when I got these results, I wondered, hmm, wonder if I'm doing something wrong, wonder if whatever. I ran probably 15 more benchmarks, because what we're looking at, though it seems like only, oh, it's only 100, 150 points, that's close to 10 to 15 percent, considering where we are with the numbers. I then looked at the benchmarks, and the benchmarks are broken down into three different tests. Now, this is a fantastic opportunity to tell you this isn't sponsored by Puget or even endorsed, but this is what they've installed on my system, and this is the test that they ran, that being the backlit text. This is the corner pin and phone composite, and then here you have the turbulent particles, which are firing up to a Puget Systems logo. They do a great job of these benchmarks, and I would say their systems look perfect for what they're building them for. So if you are in the need for a pre-built machine, highly consider them. They've done a lot for us in the industry here. Now that we know what's being rendered in these tests, let's take a look at the scores. Here we have studio scores on the left, free on the right. You'll notice a gentle uptick. These are frame rates that come directly out of the benchmark results. What's interesting to me here is the 3D compositing, the backlit text, the phone compositing, so you're talking about corner pin, probably some masking, some effects, and then obviously a 3D transform and the turbulent particles all exhibit an uptick in the free version here on the system again with the GeForce GTX 1070 behind it. These results troubled me a touch so I jumped over to my new Ryzen Ripper. This is a 3950X with a 2080 Ti, 64 gigabytes of Corsair, 3200 megahertz RAM, a terabyte NVMe drive for the OS and the program, one terabyte SSD for the project files, and 512 gigabyte NVMe scratch drive. Sure enough, extra horsepower did not change the results. In fact, some of the disparity was a little bit larger. This made me want to understand what's going on inside the computer when these things are running. Taking a look at the CPU monitor while the execution was running on the free edition, you'll notice across the cores here in studio, a little bit less of a utilization pattern. If we go back to free, back to studio. So there's a noticeable drop as you compare across the cores. The question is, why? We already know part of the answer to why. And the part that we know is that, yeah, free is made to use the CPU more because it's an upsell to be able to use your GPU. But what I think we found in 16.2 is a turning point. It's a turning point to a new execution engine inside Fusion. I believe that Blackmagic Design, in a safe move, decided for the studios that are using the studio version, I'm going to leave them on our tried and true perfect execution engine. We're going to put a new and improved execution engine into the free edition, and we'll try it out. I'm really impressed with the quality of it, if this is truly what happened, because for a first cut of software coming out and dropping, note I did test 16.1, this isn't the result that you get. So that tells me that they introduced something new. I'm thinking they introduced a new execution pipeline for Fusion, and I've got to give it to their quality assurance department, got to hand it to those software developers. They're doing a fantastic job to have an execution engine that is this new, that does this much differently, but doesn't have many bugs to it. So I'm really excited about what might come in DaVinci Resolve Studio 16.3, or maybe it's going to come out in 17, which should be the new execution pipeline to the Studio Edition, and I'm hoping further improve the speed inside Fusion. Thank you very much for watching John's Films. Like and subscribe so that others can find it. If you decide you're going to pick up a Studio copy, I have an affiliate link right below. Much appreciated if you'd use it. 
and have a great day.